Yenge, Yanga, Yave, Wiza, Watu, Sari, Sa, our praises, Kemba, Natatanzambi, Kambote, Kiaku, uh, Zola, Zola, Kwingi, to all the Banabetu, scattered across the earth, Zola, to all Nana Banabetu, that continue to uh, rise up in their understanding. I know there are um, non-Bantus who are also following this, this message. Today is going to be a, a very important message of the biggest scam that you ever heard about repentance. And I'm going to talk about how Maya Mona defined it. And he even talked about how many times that people who were thinking about repentance, that they were forged letters about the concept of the, the Christian mindset of repentance is completely warped, okay? So we're gonna talk about the real true repentance for many people who have probably asked this question. How, how, does, the, how does repentance really work and reconciliation, okay? The world has no clue because they don't know the most high. If you say, well, the world's getting out of control and things are going crazy, that cannot be with 8 billion Christians if they know the most high. It's a lie. It's a big scam. And Esau and his God are, are making a killing off of all the deceptions, uh, not just uh, Cain and Esau. They're making a killing off of a deception that people don't understand continues to plague the world because those who had the repentance um, we gave it away, okay? This once safe, always safe doctrine comes from the people who are making money off of their deception. Everything is about money, okay? I'm going to really expose a lot of things today about false pastors because for one, you cannot go to school to learn about repentance. That's the biggest lie. Two, repentance is based upon knowing the God of the, of the chosen people, Abana and Saka Yakubi, which the world calls Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That was never their names, but this is what the, this is what the Vulgate was done. There's people who still think the Bible was written by the Most High of Truth, when in fact it was written by a bunch of theologians who chose to teach people how they want them to follow. And many people don't understand is that I'm going to show you the trick of how pastors make you feel bad because it goes back to how the Sanhedrin used to run the temple in the concept called shaming. Okay. You know, the most high law statutes and commandments, but there was a concept called shaming. Okay. Because when you learn how to behave, it's all based upon the, this community guidelines. The community is what sets the standards for how you live. Now, they, now people say, oh, I go and read the Bible, I read the Ten Commandments. Reading the Ten Commandments or, or reading the commandments of the Most High and actually knowing the commandments of the Most High are two different things. This is the problem because the people say, well, we have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit knows all the commandments. This is the problem. The Holy Spirit knows how to follow the commandments. This is why in Fumu Yisu, when he came, he said, you obey the spirit, you obey the law. Because the Holy Spirit wrote the commandments. Okay, the Moanon Velala, Moyan Peve. This is why the world has no clue. For one, no priest and no pastor can tell you you receive forgiveness. It's a lie. It is the biggest deception that was brought upon the people who looked to make fun of those people they didn't like and to go and get hatred and revenge against those they hated the most. Okay? Everything about religion is, is fabrication. They wrote books. They did scholarship translations. This has been done for generations. And then through the, the wizard, the sorcery of those who know how to use it, they made you believe and they put you in a, in, a, in a mindset that the God of Esau can forgive your sins. It's a lie. 
because Esau cannot run the church. Nobody, let me put it like this, no other nation can run the church but the, but the, but the, God, but the, the children of Esau. No one can run the world but the children of Esau. The world is not functioning properly because the people who are running the world were not in the covenants at all. And I'm talking not just about the people calling themselves. I'm talking about all the nations that came from Norca. There was only one particular group of people who were in covenants and they are not sitting in the proper place. None of their priests are actually in order with the temporary. This is why when you see what's going on around the world and in Africa and in Asia and in South America and all these different places, why people, they, people just say, oh, it's about greed. If you are being ran by the real true creator and his kingdom, you cannot, you cannot continue to take advantage of people and not have a consequence and continue to sit there and, and generation after generation benefit off of the wealth of others. It's not possible. This is the mindset of Lucifer's kingdom. This is how you're going to know today the the delusion that people are under when it comes to repentance. First of all, uh, before we get started, let me make this uh, introduction. Saku Panzu and Zinga. This is a message that was called upon me today because of what you're getting ready and about to do, Yaya, that many people have no clue what's coming because they don't know the truth. They continue to believe the half truths and half lies. The the water kingdom and the and the and the wicked ones of Mount Hermony and all the other false spirits continue to spell cast. They continue to lead astray those who work for the enemy and those who intentionally understand that they're taking us back to the pyramid of, of Babylon. The Tanzanian Pungu father, the Babylonian spirit continues to run rampant among the earth. People do not understand the difference between spirit and carnal knowledge. They're trusting in man-made things that have no clue as to what they have, no understanding. That's why they cannot understand what's going on. And they have no answers because they do not know the truth. Tatanzami, you are the father that provides answers. You are the father that provides understanding. You are the, the, the father that provides the, the right kind of knowledge that we need to know how to conduct ourselves and how to live. But our stiff neckedness as a Banabe to be solidly drove us away to the deception of those of the sorcerers and, the, and, the, and those who were the conjurers that once again continue to bring us into a belief that is not ours and now have become exploited and utterly destroyed by those who have hatred towards you and hatred towards your creation and hatred towards anybody because of how they fell but they want to blame others just like the way that the, the, the knuckleheads who fell want to blame the creation and not themselves. Father, you know that repentance means that you will see, you will put the blame squarely on the right person, but then you will understand what that means. That Tatanzami, that opens the heavens in the connection with you and brings your Wanda into, into clarity and your scriptures into clarity where no more confusion reigns. For my words, Tatanzami, I know these are still false spirits we say over our mouth. We look forward to the time that you will remove these, these spirits from our mouth. All right, let me play my intro. Again, I don't own the music. I hope you can hear it okay. This, like I said, I tested my speakers this time. Um, like I said, it used to be just fine with Zoom, and I don't know what happened, but it's like something obviously is not wanting people to get, <laughs> um, they don't want you to feel the things that I feel. I need to change my name, by the way. Sorry. I'm just going to pay it out. Okitiwe is actually a poor sub word for chosen.
בעצם קורסי. Sorry, I'm not using the song. Oh, there you go. Sorry about that. Okay. Sorry about leaving the song. I forgot to pull up the scriptures. I might even play it again. Sorry. So I'll play it again.
Praises. All right. Kembo na tetanzami bayeti and kosi. Kembo, hallelujah. We give honor and kung to Kembo na tetanzami and pungu, a Congo yavi. Sonina nina somanla and gai. For all that he is continuing to do in this time. Okay. Today we're going to talk about repentance and the biggest deception of those who practice Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. Okay? Many people don't understand that sorcery has nothing to do with repentance at all. Kindoki, okay? Also, when Christians say they go into church or they get on their knees and they start confessing their sins and they're repenting, you have to understand that you don't, you, you, when you pray and you're asking for forgiveness, you have to first of all know what needs to be done in order to get it. Okay? This is something that many people have been misled by because prayer is not just sitting there talking and, it, and it, immediately what they do is they turn their head down. The, the, the Sanhedrin, part of the reason why people were told to put their head down is Lucifer's mentality is I'm shaming you. You ever seen when you, um, when you yell at a dog what is the first thing that the dog does? The head goes down. They feel, oh, what did I do? Oh, they, they go like this, okay? It's like you're being scolded. Scolding mentality is actually coming from paganism. Because in the Babylonian Empire and many of those like it, Scolding was 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 a concept developed through the spirit of Kaina when he used to scold his dog. Oh, you stupid dog! Okay, this is where scolding really comes from. Or he scolded his animals. Okay, to get an, a, a clearer understanding on what I'm coming from is when it comes to knowledge of sheep or a flock remember you have a farm right the sheep do not feed with the pigs the pigs do not feed with the dog and neither do the sheep okay the sheep do not feed with anybody when you have a flock of sheep they are together the purpose of the of the shepherd got remember the shepherd dog they run around and they they run around and they run around and they keep the sheep going in the direction that they've been trained to go. And keeping them in line. And then you have the shepherd with the the sheep. He's guiding them, okay, along the path to make sure they don't fall into any trouble. Keep this in mind as I'm talking about repentance. Okay, I'm going to talk about what something that Toko talked about. Okay? Because I know my father, my grandfather had goats. And he would hear them cry <laughs> when they were out stuck on something, okay? Because I know one time he thought I was one of them when I was not doing what I was supposed to be doing. But it goes down to when it talks about the scriptures say, train the child the way they should go and they should not depart. The disobedience of children is connected to what they learn. From the time that they're babies to the time that they become adults, disobedience is always tied to what they learn and what they choose not to listen to. Now, here's the problem with that. When we live in America, when we live 
and other countries, everything is based off of what you are taught as societal norms, which incorporate scripture. Because I told you, the most high is law. The natural law is universal. It's the carnal law that's causing the problem. They're making stuff up as they go. I'm telling you, they do it. They did it. They did it even in the time when they infiltrated the kingdom of Tatanzambi. This is why Fumu Yusu was like you teaching people to break the law because you're just making it up. Based upon what? How you want people to act. Not by way of the Father. Okay? When you look at church doctrine and everything that they have been doing according to the guidelines of the churches that you have created, remember that many of these guidelines are man-made. They are not coming. They, they're going to tell you this is inspired by the Father. Uh-uh. I'm going to tell you right now, when we go to Malachi, this is, is going to expose a lot of these lies that continue to be put upon the people for the purpose of making money, wealth, and also causing people to go astray continuously. I think it's Malachi chapter two. Yes, this is what I want. And then I'm gonna get into where he says, you sons of, this is where I'm gonna show you now, this word kohanim was a fair, was a gog term, not banabetu visolele. This comes from the this comes from the Phoenicians. This not, and you look at what they call Hebrew. It is a Phoenician language, not the Most High's language. That's the first problem. Okay. Now. Nganga Zambi means priest in Kikongo. This command is for you. If you won't listen, if you won't pay attention to honoring my name, says Tatan Zambi in Pungutulendo, okay, we did not say this, then I will send the curse on you. I will turn your bilaka into curses. Yes, I will curse them. Because you pay no attention, I will reject your seed. I will throw dung in your faces, your dung from your festival offerings, and you will be carted off with it. Okay, this is going to explain what happened 500 years ago, by the way. Okay, then you will know that I sent you this command to confirm to the covenant with Lewi, says Tatanzambi and Pungu. My covenant with him was one of life and peace. And I gave him these things. It was also one fear, and he feared me. He was in awe of my name. The true Tula, remember it was an R, not an L, was in his mouth, and no dishonesty was found on his lips. He walked with me in peace and uprightness and turned away from sin. This is even for myself. The Ganga, the, the Ganga, the, uh, what we call in Gunza, lips should safeguard knowledge. And people should seek Tula from his mouth before he is the a messenger. Now, I'm going to show you where you're going to find out there are many people in this walk. Okay, that are always about emotion and not what they're supposed to do. This is what actually helps people in Christianity operate because by how you've been taught to act in your families and you say, oh, God is the, is, is the judge of my house. Okay, first and foremost, when you operate in your house, it will never be in any fashion that is consistent with what the norm of societies are. And this is why 
you will always be in conflict with those who do not understand the Most High. Okay? Many of the people who teach the scriptures are not even saved. But they're going to tell you they are. That's all part of the game of those who are working for the wrong side. This is why instead of receiving the blessings, you are getting cursed. Now, this is specifically, let me say this again. This is specifically for the people who were under the covenant. Okay, we're going to go back to 2 Chronicles. This is one of the biggest scriptures that is a con, is a con in Christianity. 1,000% when they read this. In Islam, it's an even bigger con. It says, 2 Chronicles 7, 14. This is why they need us to continue to turn on each other. This is part of the way that they have destroyed the people they know were meant to bring salvation to the world. Because all of these excuses they give the Christians is ridiculous as to why they don't manifest the power. Because it's all a big scam. Because they are making money off of a certain group of people because they know how it works. Then, if my people who bear my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their evil ways, I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Okay? The Most High's land that he gave in the promise to his descendants is not the Gentiles' land. All, the, all of the tribes were given land. This is why they're covering it up. Because now what's happening is this is the spirit of Cain that continues to bring confusion upon the nations. Okay, he specifically gave an inheritance to Abana and Saka and Yakubi. Okay, the people, and you even see the word Jewish there. Okay, strike that word because that is not his name, his name is not Jew or Jewish. The next thing, his name is not Allah. We never called him Allah before Muhammad. This is the biggest scam ever. We for certainly did not call him Christian. And we did not call him God or Lord. He had a name. The reason why you don't know it is because you have not received repentance according to the true repentance of the creator that was created for his people. Okay? You cannot be taught how to repent by the Pharisees, scribes, Sadducees, and hypocrites because they themselves have not received repentance. How do you receive repentance, first of all, is you have to be the people that bear his name. That's the start. And I'm not, no, no, don't get it wrong. The other nations can receive their repentance. But first of all, you need to know the people who bear his name. This is why they rewrote the scriptures with his name removed.
And it was not YHWH either. We had another way we said it. And that stuff that they're teaching, let's say whatever. They want to write it like that, that's on them. That's that's a Phoenician word, <laughs> okay? The Banabeta of Isolade were called by a name. Okay? That's why the world has no clue how to get the real repentance. They just do what, it, it, it's, like a, it's like it goes like this. When you receive the repentance of the Father, you do not just keep doing whatever you want afterwards, Mr. Bailey, myself, my wife, or anybody. Okay? This is our problem. What made the Messiah worthy of his position is everything that he did the, he obeyed the Mwanda. Yeah, he might have gone out to places and interacted with people, but he never broke the law. Okay? This is why I say to people, the high priest of the Etem Pele, the reason why he called him a hypocrite is he was a breaker of the law, statutes and commandments, because they were making up their own law. Because they did not come from the covenant. That's why they're they that's why when they when when you see Catholicism and all of the, the, the councils that took place, and you see even in Islam and you see in Judaism, they go by the Talmud, they go, they make that's why you see in Congress. Congress, let me tell you how deceived the Christian world is in America. The United States Congress, this is even going for the parliaments and everywhere you go, if they knew the most high, their laws would also mimic his law. You would not make a law that causes you to go against his will. No. They do not know him. Oh, but there's a separation of church and state. First of all, the church is already wrong. They didn't need... Let me put it like this. You wouldn't need to separate church and state if the church was not corrupted. That's the biggest deception there. Because the pagans were running the church, that's why this happened. And then the laws you made were still pagan because they're made up. Christianity is not praying to the God of the 12 tribes. They are not the way you can tell, the way you can tell is the lack of true power, ngolo, meaning they see you for who you are in spirit, not just in the flesh. Okay? The pastors that sit in front of you are Pharisees. Therefore, they do not have repentance. So then they cannot tell you you have repentance because they learn their information from the hypocrites. The hypocrites run the schools. The hypocrites run the church. The hypocrites run the businesses. The hypocrites run everything. And I'm not just talking, I'm talking about nations, the descendants, all the nations you see existing. That's why you see people keep showing what's happening over in India. Okay? They are doing that because they're talking to the wrong God. When you see what's going on in, in Buddhism and all the other religions, even in Christianity, these things that are happening in the world today is because you're talking to the wrong God. There are multiple gods, okay? And all of them that are not the most highest way are about discipline in the form of force. 
Even the father told his own people to circumcise their heart and have compassion for their brothers and sisters. This is how you know if he had to tell them that, that they were practicing way too much condemnation, then that's why he was getting angry because that is Lucifer's mentality. Beat you down into submission to get you to obey. Okay? That is Kadi and Pemba. That is, that is the wicked ones. Because they're ob because they cannot command your soul. So they're gonna be they're gonna beat you into it. Condition it's called conditioning. Okay. The whole system is corrupted because in order to know the father, he does not need to condition you. Okay. That's the first problem. You will either choose or not choose to obey what he asks. But what he says is obedience, uh, uh, adhering or, or doing what he asks comes with one response. Disobedience comes with another. It may not even be a full beat down. You may get a warning. This is where the devil likes to even mock with this. To show, he say, hey, make sure you give him that warning so they don't catch on as me. They don't understand that the, the Lucifer is not an idiot, okay? He's making you think that he is, but he's not, <laughs> okay? But at the same time, he's an idiot for leaving the most high. That's how stupid he is about that. And the way he thinks that he can beat Tatan Zambi is not going to happen. But he makes you think that you can do it. Okay? With the people who are losing their minds. Okay? First of all, it says, you bear my name and then you humble yourself. You pray, sambu, you seek his face. Okay. You have to first know what did the face of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob look like, not what Rome told you or, the, or whoever. That's the problem. You're going based off of what they told you, not who was there. The, the, the 12 tribes, the Banabeta of Isolele, okay, the reason why we struggle to see his face is disobedience. When Infumo Yisukuso Kongo was praying to the father, why did he look up? Because he's talking to his father like you talk to your parents. Okay? Oh, excuse me. When we talk about balance and imbalance, oh, excuse me, and this is why I have this discussion with my 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 wife and and all the others that I talk to, and I was talking to this brother yesterday. Okay, not knowing who you are with your identity is your first mistake as to how the father sees the world. The creator himself knows every bloodline. This is why the people who, who, who created science made you act like he's not there. They know he's there, okay? But they know that you don't know him because they made sure that you think you knew him, but you don't. People say, oh, I know God. I know, I know Jesus Christ. I know the Lord and Savior. Okay. Then you will know the people who bear his name and what name that is. That's the first problem. The secret societies never taught anybody how to do that. 
because they're the ones running all the instructions. If you haven't figured that out yet, I'm sorry, but good luck in the next phase because it's going to come a reality pretty soon. Okay. The Catholic Church never bared his name or they wouldn't call themselves the Catholic Church. That's your first mistake. If they bared his name, you would not call yourself according to, you would know what to call yourself other than Christian. Oh, that's just the only title there is. That's the that's that's God, those are God's people. If you were the most high's people, okay, then you would know exactly what to do when it comes to the concept of getting repentance. Because it's a two-way conversation. You're going to get confirmation that you have received repentance. Or you're going to get confirmation that you need to go do something else to get it. You have to go talk to your neighbor. You what did you okay, you have to, you're going to get instructions on how to receive it. You see, you have these people in the in the standing up there in front of you talking about repent, repent. How can you repent from someone who themselves have never received repentance either? You are assuming that because they put on the clothes and stand in front of you and they put on the robe and everything and all this, that they themselves have received forgiveness or that when they stand up there and they pray, they're doing exactly like what he told them not to do with the Pharisees. Don't stand up there with these long prayers and the long robes and do these long prayers. That, they're in disobedience. Just standing there when they do this, when they're crying out, Father, okay, the, that's that's disobedience even to what the Messendus he said. He said, if you want to receive repentance, okay, this is a personal interaction between you and the Father. This is the biggest deception of the church. Secondly, the Mwanda, the Holy Spirit, the Mbasi that carries your prayer. See, you don't even know how your prayer goes. The, the prayer has to be, it's like I told you, we've been lied to so long. It's like a telephone operator. You pray, you're not praying to the Father, you're praying to the embassy that's taking the message to the Father. This is why when we say in Proverbs and Zinga, uh and Zingana, that's what it really means. If I don't, if you're not hearing the law, your prayer is an abomination. So that means it's like you know, when you're on a um, cell phone call and you say, I, I, I can't hear you, there's a disconnect involved, there's a fuzzy, I, I can't, we need to do it, we need to, we need to call again, okay? This is the concept that you're not understanding. There is no connection. You, you dial the wrong number because the hypocrites cannot talk to the Father without repentance themselves okay that's why when i when i started my prayer my wife and i we we did psalm 51 but we did it in kikongo okay because a lot of times people don't know why did i do it in kikongo because the, that's what the holy spirit will tell you what to do don't read it in english don't read it in lingala i have a lingala bible don't read it in French. Don't read it in Latin. Read it in Kikongo. You're going to get instructions. See, this is what people don't understand. Oh, the Father hears every language. Yes, because the problem is you are doing your own understanding of him. Okay, first of all, 
he wasn't speaking in English to the 12 tribes. They knew the language to talk in. The Holy Spirit knows the Father's tongue. That's the first thing. That's why when I let you, when I, when I played what the rabbi told the pastor, he flat out told him, we burned the original books and then translated it into Greek and Roman. Do you understand why they did that? Because language is power. What you say is a powerful thing. Words have meaning. They took away the word. That's why I told one of my brothers who said, I said, why do you think it was so important that when they took us into slavery, they needed to strip off of the way we spoke if it was not a threat to them. If Islam was, if the language of Muslim, what language that Muslims speak was a threat to the establishment, they would make you want to quit talking in it. If, the, if, if, if English was a threat to the people who run this, the people who control you, they would make you change it, okay? You're not understanding this. And that's why this, the people that they are speaking in the Kikongo, they have to keep you in disconnect, a hypocrite. Because Christianity is the religion of hypocrisy because it was given to the people who were actually worshiping Zeus, okay? Those who came from the background where they were worshiping another deity other than this God cannot now come and say, we are now in covenants with him. No. That's why he specifically, this is why the sorcerer and all the other sorceries that's going on and the deception that continues to be put on the minds and hearts of people is about you assume, oh God, I know God wouldn't. I How do you know that? What did he tell you? Oh, based upon what I read, no. It's not about what you read. What did he say to you? Okay, so when we talk about this, this is why it's so ignorant that people say, oh, nobody can know who Jesus was. Then you don't know him because if you have a shepherd, why would the shepherd would come out in you? If you have the right shepherd, his words will then begin to come out of you. Then they will see him because his, I told you the DNA, he, he is the word. Like you read, like you keep saying in church, oh yeah, uh, the word and the word became flesh. Okay. That means he's the word. That means he's not in the book, but they put him there. This is the deception. The next thing is, if you are the Most High's people, then you are, the word is written in your DNA, as they want to call it, in your, in your body. There was a lady who kept saying, we are healers ourselves. Yeah, Lucifer can heal. The most, just, people don't understand this problem. That's why the Messias said there's going to be false messiahs. If a false messiah can heal, that means you think he's the most messianic. That means he can heal. So if demons get it straight. Demons can heal. In order for you to follow them. No, that can't be. Yes, <laughs> go read the demonology, people. You're going to see all the characteristics of demons. They will even show you the one that can change water into wine. I'm telling you, you don't get it. Okay? They have this connection. They know these things. Okay? But of course, the demonic realm is using divination 
conjuring spiritual uh, uh, spells and spirituality. It's not the monism. They're not using the, the living water. Okay. This is the time to ask uh, the Most High of Truth, the Tanzambi, to forgive our sins. Tell everything you did to him, 1 John 1, 9, okay? First of all, in order to repent, you have to know what you did to offend the Father. Most everybody in the world is breaking the first commandment because they're not even talking to the right God. If we acknowledge our sins, then since he is trustworthy and just, he will forgive them and purify us from all wrongdoing. Emphasis on purify. Purifying means you reset your body. You reset your soul. You reset everything about all the things that you have done. So now you've really become a new creature, which means that now the world will look like you will see the world totally different than what you have seen it before. And people will look at you and say, who are you and where did you come from? And what happened to the old so-and-so right off the bat? It's not going to be something that's going to be just like, um, you know, this a slow change. People say, oh, that kid was bad. And then they started to act different. And they get, no, repentance is where the day you walk out of your house, your family members are going to say, why do you seem like there's something off about you today? Something is different. We can't put our finger on it. You just don't, you acting like, and that's why those who have never seen repentance before will think that you are in sorcery or that you are doing things that you should not be doing in divination because they never got to know the truth, but they only have the milk, like we said, all right? The Mandavelana of Tatanzami has already decided, okay? Emphasis. The Holy Spirit has already decided if you're going to get the repentance or not. That everything that was previously practiced should be forgiven. The Holy Spirit has already decided this. Okay? If your children have received repentance, if you have received repentance, if you have the true repentance, your household is no longer going crazy. It is in order. You will have peace, and then you will know exactly how to hear for instructions on how to further go forward in your life. Because the repentance is what then leads to you being above the nations and the world. This is why you become a threat to those who live in sin and work off of it. Okay? You need to understand the meaning of my letters. There are Baklistu who sin and leave for good. How do you do that? You sin and you leave for good because you lost the understanding of what it means to know the truth. You never had it. Okay? This wait, these wait until the, see, these wait until the coming this is the problem. We're waiting on the Christ. We're waiting on Christ. We're waiting. 
Why are you waiting? What are you waiting for? What did he say? Okay, what did he say? He never said to wait for me, like the way you think. He said, when I come back, I better find you doing what I ask. This is why you're, people are getting tricked by imposters. And I'm watching them and I see people interacting on Facebook and I see what people are saying. I had a long conversation about this with, a, with, you know, with people. And I said, when you assume something, you will always be felt, you will always be made to look stupid when you start talking to them. Because Lucifer is very crafty and putting thoughts in your head that are not there. This is why it says you better be careful about the voice in your head. You know, people will stop to say, oh, you're schizophrenic. Uh, you know why the doctors are trained to, to act like this? Because if you actually, why do you think people want to run from doctors sometimes? Do you not think that maybe that person had the gift to see that the doctor's spirit is wicked? but you have been conditioned to believe the medical industry is all good. I have had conversations with doctors that are now saying, we've now found out we, we thought we were helping people. No, the people who run this world, I tell you, if you don't wanna believe me, you are nothing but cattle to them. Sheep or even like, like, like horses, you're no different than the bulls you see people riding in the rodeo. They look down upon everybody. And I'm talking about not just in general from the different, you know, from God. I'm talking about across the board in every civilization. You are nothing but a peasant. Okay. If you have, if that person, when you sit there and you watch Joe Biden, if he was a repentant Christian, as they want to call him, he's not going to stand there and tell you lies. He must tell you the truth. The problem is, and if you are a repentant person, you will hear his lie. And you will know he's not telling the truth. The one that the Holy Spirit will say, that's not true. That's true. That's not true. That's true. Just like that. The Holy Spirit will discern it. That's discernment of, that's how you do discernment. People don't understand. You cannot discern anything with the God of Esau. Nothing. With the God of Cain. Discernment comes, first of all, knowing who the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I'll just use those names because that's what people are accustomed to, is. People will say, oh, he's a jealous God? Of course, but that means when he says he's a jealous God, that means he loves his children more than the other nations, which means you cannot replace them. See, you have been taught how to say words by the people who gave you the language you speak without understanding what you are saying. Yeah, Lucifer gets jealous too, by the way, because he's the god of jealousy. When you keep saying the jealous god like that, you don't understand. The devil gets mad when you convert the people that come from his side to the most high side. We had that conversation yesterday. And it said, oh, it is very true. And I witnessed that myself. He gets ticked off when you go from the halo to the crown. Very angry. This is not something that will go over well. This is why people, the Christian world doesn't understand. You take people from the devil to the devil to the most high, he's going to be angry. It's going to make problems for you. 
<laughs> okay? Believe that. The Christians are totally spiritually blind to this fact. <clears throat> you need to understand, okay? But if the but if one of them regrets and comes back, they cannot, they can't say no. Okay. <laughs> you already reject the Messiah when you don't even know who they cruci who was there. But you go based off what you were taught. Then that's where the shaming thing comes into play. Okay, the Holy Spirit, if you say you have it, if you say you have it, will show you what happened. You will go into a trance and you will be taken and see. That's why I'm telling you it's a lie. You say, oh, nobody could know Jesus. No. Because the Mwanda can show you what happened that day or what went down. You will even know what Pilate looked like. Oh, that's Pontius Pilate right there. That's what he looked like. You will know what Julius Caesar looked like. You don't, that's why they don't put the book of Abana in there. You will know what the you you the, the wonder can show you what Toma looked like, what Mataya they, they say, who's Matthew? You will not see a person named Matthew standing there. Okay. But my letters speak a lot about married people who have moved away and don't want to be reconciled. First of all, reconciliation. Let's look at it in the word reconciling Kikongo. Okay. Kuakinisa, Kuakanisa, or Kuvukisa. Reconcile. See, you, you go to church and they do the Christmas song. When they do the song, Hark the herald angels sing. First of all, angels don't sing like that for him. That's the first mistake. Okay. Glory to the, and it says, God and sin are reconciled. How can you reconcile with the Father? How can you reconcile with the Father if you do not even know what you worship? There is no reconciliation if you don't know the people, the God, and the people that bear his name. It is a scam of the con man because that's what he is. Cain is a con man of Cain. He's a con artist, he's a thief, and he's a scoundrel, and he's a, sc a, a scandalous scoundrel. But he will act like the night, the, he will act like the good boy while he's really wicked. And you will be disciplined, not what? What does the most I say? I rather the repentance than the judgment. Okay, your heart, your intima is part of this. I learned this lesson personally. I cannot forgive your heart if your heart is not 100% mine. This is why idolatry is part of the game when it comes to what they created in what they call their smorgasbord of distractions 
You cannot receive the most high in repentance and say, I love the Chicago Bears. Your heart is with the Chicago Bears then. Then don't come talk to me. You cannot say, I love the most high and say, oh, I love Beyonce. No, then your heart is with Beyonce. Go, go have her repent. This is what he means when he says, let your idols save you. You cannot say, I love the most high. Oh, I love America. Then he's going to say, then let America save you. You can't come talk to me. You cannot say, I love the most high. Oh, I love the, the, the king and queen of England. Then he's going to say, then let the king and queen of England save you then. Re give you repentance. Okay? You cannot say, uh, I love the most high and I love watching these things I shouldn't watch. Then let those things save you, what you watch. This is the thing that we all have to understand in this time, especially as I'm getting ready to go into it more and more. This whole week that was coming, you know, it's a reconciliation. It's a, it's the reconciliation is your focus must be on his heart and yours. And if you're going by the, the image of Jupiter, I don't know you. If, if, if you say the God of Rome will save you, then he said, go to the God of Rome. That's not me. That's why when Toko showed up and he started to show them, they were like, oh, no, we can't let this get out to the public. The Catholic Church would have collapsed right there. They were in the, they were in their own disobedience. And that's why now the whole earth doesn't know that because of what Rome did and the people who were connected to them, this is where all of your suffering comes from. And they're going to sit there and call him climate change. That's the code word for Tatanzambi and Pungu, for King Congo. So they can't tell you, oh, no, this is the, like I told you, they cannot tell the Christians you are being judged, okay, because you're mistreating the people that are you're supposed to be saving. They're not going to tell you that. But see, like at, at the same time, the devil rewards you for your disobedience for those who are not in covenants with him. But then he treats everyone based upon what you give him. That's why you have poor people and rich people, because he does the opposite. What you give me, I give you more. I double it. I triple it, whatever. If you only give me a little bit, uh, I don't want to see you. That's the part where they got people to convince them to love poverty through the scriptures. You're living in the up the complete upside down concept because the most high is always among the poor. He does not see the super wealthy like, oh yeah, I got billions and millions of dollars. God bless me. What's God? Because he's sitting there looking at all the other things that's going on. Then what are you doing with what I gave you then? Oh, I just can't. I can't give everybody my money. Nah, 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 nah. Did you not read what he said? Did you not really read the scriptures and think you know them? First of all, the Holy Spirit is going to tell you what to do with your money. When you have it. The Holy Spirit is going to show you that you need to put the store, you need to build up the kingdom of Jacob. Oh, I thought I was as a Christian. I built, no. You cannot be. If you were, then your whole community, all of these churches you see out here, if you were doing, if you were building Jacob's kingdom, your community would be totally different than what you see today. It has to change.
See, even in this statement that they're showing here, where the, and this is how we this is why we call them the Jehovah Wickedness, along with the Christians. Watch what he say. As you exercise faith in Christ's ransom sacrifice, first of all, first of all, who did he pay for? Oh, he paid for the whole world. <laughs> that's the that's your biggest mistake. What he did, okay, was he he became the non-hypocritical high priest. So that the temple of the Most High would be open to those who seek purification. I cannot tell you how many charlatans out here are going to get themselves and get you killed. Because they are acting on his behalf wickedly. You become reconciled to God and enjoy a peaceful and fruitful relationship with your heavenly father. Okay, that right there tells you the Christian is a liar. Because Christianity is not bringing the world to peace. If they knew the father, the world would be at peace. All your churches, all of your Christian people, this world would be at peace because it says it right there. If you have reconciled with the Father, you enjoy peace. Do you enjoy peace right now? I don't think so. Do you enjoy peace in your house? Why do you think people are sitting there working so hard into their 70s and 80s? You even have people talking about, oh, they want to destroy capitalism. And uh, Do you understand? And this is how you know America is the biggest hypocrite. They don't know the most high because he would tell you what type of system to run in order for people to have peace and for people to have understanding and a relationship with the father. The Masons do not know the father. I'm sorry. You you can believe it, whatever you want. None the, the Eastern stars do not know the father. None of these secret societies know the father. They can't. He can still use them, but they will not know him. Anybody who is practicing a religion, which means to bind again, by the way, you're not free. You're locked up in Atlantis. That's part of it. <laughs> okay. You're locked up in, you can't say, oh, it don't exist. Yeah, that's because you're locked up in their religion. Uh, you're locked up in Scientology. That's locked up. You're locked up in Christianos. Locked up. You're not free. You're locked up in Islam. That's not freedom either. Okay? That's the concept. Kanange ketula lukwikilu na kimenga ya undukul unkudulu ya klistu put the l there we didn't say no r and zombie why do you think they're going to say oh well, that in zombie god is the pagan god da, 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 da. yeah the devil don't want you to know cuz that's the name the people who say if my people that's why i showed that ancient map that said in zombie. You think that the Jewish people don't know who Tatan Zambi is? You do, you fool yourself. But they don't fear him. No way. You think they don't know who Tatan Congo is? They know what he we called him, but they don't fear him. They put it in the movies all the time. We hate this guy. We call they even mocking him. Look at the gorilla. 
אוקיי? כאן דימה, אינגי אבונה, אינגי טוונדה נא, אינגמבה אמפי נא קינדוקו יא אומבוטי, טי טאטה נא אינגי יא זול. Reconciliation, and that's why he says it right here. They speak of themselves being followers of the Messiah who sin, boys and girls. Okay, that means uh, Moana or, you know. Advise eight times that if you don't want to listen, punish yourself and wait for Chris to then return. Yeah, so he says like that. If this is going to how it's going to be, you might as well punish yourself because the problem is you're waiting for something that you're supposed to be doing. It's completely wrong. Backwards. You're waiting when you're supposed to be doing. This is the deception. This is what I have recommended. Widowers are the same, but if a widower asks for marriage, marry him. 1 Corinthians 7, 8 and 9. A deviant, if he understands the evil he has done and repents and wants to return or marry, receive him. But those who do not want to return cannot seek them out because they are hypocrites. That's the whole concept. This is what I'm talking about. My wife and I are the same. Okay. What makes you a hypocrite, all of us included in this, is when you decide to do what you want when it comes to the Most High's way than what he wants. Okay? It is necessary to understand well what I'm writing, but if so, know that we are all de facto sinners. But that means that, it's from, like I said, don't let people keep telling you, oh, if you did this, how could you be? Look, man, I'm telling you, if you're not following the most high law, statutes and commandments, the spirit and truth, and doing his will according to the spirit, you are a sinner. Okay? It is the year of sincere repentance. This is 1971, by the way, is when he was talking about it. Whoever repents can no longer do, and this is this is an instructions to me. This is why we're all doing this, having this problem. This is why we're living in, in America where you are designed. That's why I hate being in this system right now, because America is is created to do the opposite of what you are supposed to be doing in repentance. You're doing the opposite. It's a contradiction. The whole world is a contradiction, okay? Whoever repents, let's say it again, can no longer do what has been doing before he believed in the God and in Christ. Please do. This is why you know Christians are not repenting to the right God. This is how you know the pastors are not receiving repentance. Okay? Because for one, they are not going to just give you a pep talk on Sunday and give you a scolding on Sunday they must also include themselves, but at the same time, you will receive a physical change from someone who is actually giving repentance. And then at that point, you must also do your best to fight the return of your sin. Now, this is why I hate the fact that there are those who know this and then they do the things to get you to go against the creator because they will be exposed. 
if Christianity was receiving the repentance that they think they are, all of your enemies would be exposed to you and those who are liars. Okay? If you are doing the Most High's work, the suffering will come from those who hate you. But the suffering will not come from the one you're working for. Understand that. Now listen to this. Of the sheep that for a long time walking from one side to the other end up falling into the hole, we can distinguish the two types. The sheep that is going to loiter, if he falls into the hole and does not cry out, how will the shepherd know where it is found? This is the blind leading the blind into the pit. You got put into a pit. You don't even realize you're in a pit. Are you going to cry out? No. Now watch this. The sheep that is going to loiter, if it falls into the hole and starts screaming all night, will the shepherd not upon hearing his groan not help him or her? This is why the mockery of the movie Silencing of the Lambs, which is really about Banabeta, Visolele, and all the other nations, you have all these churches sitting there. I'm crying out to our, we're crying out, we're crying out. Where are you? Where are you? This is how you know Christians are deceived. He's going to show up. You're going to see him coming for you. I'm coming. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm coming. You're going to see this. Your shepherd will come get you. If you're all sitting there reconciling and repentance and crying out, you will see the shepherd coming to, find, to help you. Okay? It's completely garbage what they are teaching the nations about our creator and our Messiah figure because they do not know him. You're not going to stay if, the, if you have called out to the Messiah if you have called out to the creator, you're going to get rescued. You're going to get rescued. See, the fake Messiah, he's going to let them see you struggle for a while. Oh, I need help. Help. What, 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 what? Did you pay me this month? How much did you give me? Help. Help. Okay. Once you pay him, then he'll come rescue you. Okay, I got you. Let's go. But then when he rescues you, you fall into another pit that you don't see because you cursed yourself. The wrong shepherd came and got you. This is why you're going to pile sin upon sin upon sin. And then later on in life, you're going to wonder why you get weak why you get sick, why you don't have your, your, your um, why you don't have certain things in order. Alzheimer's, I told people, you cannot, this is why I tell you, you're living in a la-la land. You have been put to sleep. You are la-la, you are sleeping in the soul. What they look for, and this is what they look for, are those who start to stir in the soul and say, huh? And start wiping their eyes and like, whoa, wait a minute. What's going on here? Okay? That's when you know you have reconciled with the creator. You know the truth is that you will wake up and start to see the world for what it is and not for what they told you. That's why when you go and they say you go do this communion, you must think about all your sins. The dead God 
that you're praying to that's masquerading like he's the good God, okay, will manifest. You will know your shepherd. He ain't going to play pick hiding games. Oh, you don't see me. He's going to put an image up there that wasn't him. Okay? Tatanzambi and Pungu Talendo is being shunned. But people say, we don't know this God. Correct. When people say, we take, that's why a person said, who's King Congo? I don't know this God. Right. Okay. Why don't you know him? Oh, how can he's, how do we know he's the one? Uh, we, we think our God is better. Really? Is your home in peace? Or are you constantly dealing with putting, are you constantly putting out fires? Or having to deal with, like people come and say, man, I'm having so much problem with my child. I don't know what to do. The Holy Spirit does. The real Holy Spirit. The Creator knows what to do. The Messiah knows what to do. All of them, you don't understand this. If you have a relationship with your Father, the true Creator of heaven and earth, the, the Tatan Zombie, the God of Abana and Saka Yokubi, he knew exactly what was wrong with his people and how to fix it. It was our decision whether or not we followed it or not. That's why we, the, the, I said, you cannot continue to think that you know the God of creation and your cities don't get destroyed like how it happened to what happened to us. Read the many times that we got booted out. It's no, I, I said, this is the ignorance of people who say, oh, religion is, okay, that's good. It's very simple. You live in your parents' house. They give you rules. You say, I'm not going to follow it. What happens to you? But now, if you're a parent, and you give your child no rules, then you can't expect them to say, oh, well, now long don't you listen to me? Or you don't give them the right rules. See, that's the whole concept. The father says, you live in a home where the people who taught you the rules are not giving you the right rules. So then you wanna know, well, why are you not listening to me, son? Why are you not listening to me, daughter? Why don't you hear what I'm saying? Because the spirit you're putting on them is not the real creator. That's the problem. The Jew, the, not say, let me, let, me, let, me, let me scratch that because I know that they'll say, oh, he's going to say the Lucifer, the elites, the people who run this world, and it's not just them, it's everybody that's in power. Is black, Asian, Hispanic, whatever you want to call them. All those people who control this world, the elites, are not showing you how to raise your children the right way in your house. And I'm going to prove it to you. If they were giving you the proper instructions to follow, they would lose everything. You know why? You know why? Because then the creator would shift the proper blessings so that then those who practice sin would lose power. That's what they understand. They're not teaching you to reconcile. They're teaching you to follow the instructions the way that they want you to do it. That's why you have a heart that loves everything else but the real creator because that's how they conditioned you. You're doing everything but what he asks. You're doing everything but following his law, statutes, and commandments and spirit and truth. You're listening to every other spirit but his. Because if you were listening to his spirit, 
you would not just do whatever you wanted, you would do what he wanted. All of us need to understand this concept as a whole, okay? Sheep who stray from the path and fall into the pit, spend their time screaming, resemble evildoers who repent and return to their parents. So it, it is the case with these believers who stray from the path, but then again manifest the desire to, co to com continue to serve the creator, are they not worthy of being readmitted? This is why I'm doing this. Because the apostate church, as what many people don't understand, is the 12 tribes. They were always the church. You don't get it. Because when Abana set up the temple, Abraham, that was the beginning of the church, not when the Messiah was crucified. It's a lie. You people, people don't get it. The whole purpose of the temple that was being set up by the creator was the foundation of the assemblies, the church, as you want to call it. You cannot say you know the creator if you're not even aware that that was the mission for Abana. That's why they wanted to destroy him. That's why the wicked ones needed to erase his bloodline because they knew he was the foundation because that is what the kingdom of the Most High was representing was the church already. But the priests were acting like Nimrod, where they were acting like Cain. They were acting like them. And then we brought in other priests from other nations who were even worse never connected to the truth. That is why our people continue to be constantly, they think about, oh, it's just now recently with Africa. No, the sorcerer is full of it. The comedic mindset, as you have heard from others teaching about it, or the Canaanite or the Babylonian mindset has been here. It didn't just start with Christianity. It's a lie. It didn't just start with Islam. It didn't just start with Judaism. It started with the fact that people choose to believe how they wanted to, which was the way the, the, uh, the enemy operates. Do whatever you like. As long as you do what I, you know, he don't care but he want to have his own rules for you to act like he's actually doing something. No, he's all about nothing. He knows the creator's law, statutes, and commandments, but he's going to do it his way. And then when you don't do it his way, discipline, punishment, he's going to do you like a dog, shame you. When, he's, when, you're, when you're working for the God of shame, he's playing on your emotions because he's teaching you good and bad the way you think is good and bad, when in reality, you're always bad because you never reconcile with the truth because you always break the first commandment every day. And your prayer, you're not praying to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You're praying to the God that hates him. Or else you would not mix the pagan with the non-pagan. You wouldn't do it. You would know that to not to do that. Okay. If a person has given up on Fumu Yisu Kuswa Congo, which is who represents the uh the church, okay. But as the time went by, he showed repentance and wished to be put to work again. If he noticed improvement in his behavior, they should be readmitted to him okay so I appeal to all members who strayed from the path of the zombie 
his it, his return to the source. Now, the return to the source. That's where the world is deceived. They don't even know the source. That's the issue. How can you return to something that you don't even know? Or how do you know we don't know the source? How do you know you're right and I'm and, and we're right, you're right and I'm wrong because this is the argument and this stance they're going to take. They're always going to do that. He said, because the reality of it, if you had the source, if you had the right source, then nothing would be confusing. You'd have understanding. You would have the answers you need and not looking all the time. That's why when people come ask me questions, I said, did you, did you remember you got to go to the Father? That's why Muslims instructed people. It's like, look, you can ask me all the questions you want all day, okay? But did you forget the part that says you got to go ask the Father? The Umbasi must go talk to the father and to the high priest to give you your guidance so that you have an answer to your question. That's why when he said you pray the Lord's Prayer, why did Toko say you pray that three times a day? Six o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock in the noon, and six o'clock at night. I have been I have been derelict of my duty with that one. Trust me on that. Okay. And then you do a comp, you go and pray in your con conversation with Tatan Zambi. More prayer, more power, less prayer, less power, power. But if you are in a an oath, and this is what I told people. If you are in an oath that is false, then you're praying to the wizard. You're not talking to the Most High. This is where the secret societies are full of it. So then you will not understand the direct, you will always go back to Kemet. You will always go back to Babylon. You will always go the wrong way if you don't discern the truth from them and the lies. Okay? When I hear these people talk about, oh, the black community, oh, the black community, the black community is jacked up because you're listening to the wrong God. And the people who are leading you are not working for the right God. That's why your community is jacked up. Why do you think the white community is being favored? Okay? Because Lucifer knows who the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is. You don't. And so he knows what he looks like. He knows what, what to do and what not to do. So he's going to always have you doing everything but. And in those cases, he's going to favor those who what? This is how you know the Most High was black. Look who runs, look who has the wealth and who doesn't. Where does the majority of the wealth sit and where isn't it at Lucifer knows what his father looked like Lucifer knows the two to 12 tribes looked like Lucifer knows all of these things because he was there from the beginning when he was there when he helped was created he knows how it was created he knows what the things that were done he knows the different realms and everything that they, that they took out. 
he knows the creation because he was one of the Malikis that was there when it was created. So then he knows how to keep you out of your kuwakanaisa or kuvukisa, your reconciliation. He knows how to sit there and manipulate. That's why you think everything is in the book. When, when you don't understand, the Messiah himself is the word. So if you're learning everything that's in the book, then you're not talking to him. Because he's more than the book. Yes, he's more than the book. The Holy Spirit is more than the book. They got you in this book, book. That's why they're always hitting it. Go in the book, go in the book. Why are they doing that? Why are they doing that? So then you can be controlled. Not reconciled. Then you will do as they say, not what he says. Because they wrote the book. The, the Vulgate was written by them. The, it's like Canaan, I told you, the Canaanites gave you the Bible. That's why it was called Can Canaan. Canaan. You cannot learn the creator from the God of the Canaanites and the Hamites and the Jebusites and the Hivites and the Moabites and the Askenites and the Edomites. All of those tribes you see in the scriptures that they keep saying that you cannot learn the most high from these, these people. It's not possible. He was not their God. None of these other tribes, the Babylonians, the Mesopotamians, the, uh, the, the Gomer, the Japheth, he was no longer their God. They told him, kick rocks. He was not the God of May. He was not the God of Gog. He was not the God of Magog. He was not the God of, of the, of the uh, Kittim and Tarshish and these things. Any longer. You cannot go to the Asians preaching the Most High's way and say you know the Most High. Baloney. The Asians cannot come and say, oh, we now know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob if they don't even know who the children of God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is. Are, I should say. The Asian people are clueless through the deception of Christianity who the 12 tribes are because they're going to see the same thing like what the Christians have been taught. Those guys that come from the Euro Mountains are the 12 tribes. Okay, you believe that? Go right ahead. Let them think what they want to think. Like I said, that's their choice. You want to follow the people that, that, that do the Judaism as the 12 tribes? Be my guest. This is the concept that people don't understand. If you're spreading the word of God around the world, okay, and you're bringing people to Christ, the Christ that you think, you better know who he was and where his people were. I told you the biggest deception of Christianity alone is second Chronicles 7 14. First of all, it was never called Chronicles. Second of all, all this, and I, I, I thank the brother who showed me this. We didn't have no chapter and verse. 
It was just written on the scroll with none of the breaks. Oh, first Peter chapter two, verse one. No. We just wrote it down and we knew where to look. The monitor said, go here, go there, go here. That's why when Kuswa Kongo pulled out the scroll, there was no Isaiah, whatever, whatever number. He said, Oh, I read this is what Isaiah said right here. There was no that numerology thing that you got comes from them. The French and the people who went in there and started putting these things in there. Second Peter chapter two. What, what did Peter say? Oh, Peter said this. No, 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 no. We didn't have to go to no second Peter or whatever. The one to say, what did Peter said this? We only using the Bible as a reference because people don't know they did that. Matthew 24, verse, we didn't need to know that. The one that will say, Kuso Congo said, blah, 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 blah on, on this. It was in you. That's the deception right there as a whole. Samuel, 2 Samuel, blah, blah, blah. What did Samuel say? Okay, it's Samuel. -y. Blam. In this situation, the scrolls were not labeled like how they are telling you. This is not how the Sanhedrin, when they have the scrolls that they took from us, that is not how they're reading it. <laughs> they have you deceived. Okay? We had our own numerology. We had our own filing system. They pull it out. Okay, pull it out. They were in charge of it when they weren't supposed to be. That is why the Mosai got mad. He said, why are these people doing it when they're not in they're not in covenants? Okay. That's why when we say they should not worry so much because of the people who leave the Baklistu or Ecclesia, because the Ecclesia will not cease to exist because of them. No. All right. So now, when we look at Acts, uh, what was I looking for? Acts. See how he would address the father. Watch this. And he didn't say Avraham. That's whatever. Seeing this Kepa, because the F was a P, address the people, the Banabetu. Now watch what he says. They're going to say men of Israel. Bena Isolele. Oh, he said Christians. He said Muslims. He no, you are, why are you amazed of these things? Or why do you stare at us if we had made this man walk through some power or godliness of our own? Now watch this. The God of Abana and Saka and Yakubi, because that's how we actually said it. We didn't say Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. Those, that's the, that's I said, those the Phoenician, Hittite, whatever you want to call it, Canaanite mixture. The, and, the, and it says, the God of our fathers has glorified his servant, Yeshua. And there was no H. I told you that comes from Horus. Because his name came from Yoshua. The same Yoshua, Yeshua, you handed over and disowned before Pilote after he had decided to release him 
You denied the holy and innocent one instead of asking for the reprieve of the murderer. You killed the author of life. Oh, start again. You killed the author of life. Or so they thought they did. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't really kill him, but anyway. All right. But Tatanzambi has raised him from the dead. Of this, we are witnesses. This is where you know you catch the sorcerer and his lie. He cannot raise anybody from the dead that's been dead. Remember he said, Yona, I give you the sign of Yona. Okay, people getting ready to do Easter right now. I'm like, look, <laughs> this is how you know it's a lie. When you celebrate the Ipaseka and you honor the resurrection of Infumu Yusukusa Congo, your spirit itself will be renewed. You will have more power. You will you will receive the Mwanda power if it is to meant to be given to you. Because, like I said, it's a choice. You don't just get it automatically. No. Okay. That's why you have to follow people who have the Mwanda. You can't just say, I get it. Okay? That's why Tatanzambi will continue to expose this lies. The whole history of the world and life is connected to Mwanda Nyantoto the Moyan Peve, through the real creator and the, the temple, the tabernacle. If you are connected to the tabernacle, if you are connected to the tabernacle and you have reconciled with the father, let me say this again. You will see what is good and what is evil for yourself. No one will have to tell you. No one will have to show you. No one will have to give you an understanding. You will know what the Most High likes and what he doesn't like himself. It's all a sham from those who were not in covenants and are not in covenants. They are calling you, say, they're going to tell you, oh, come and learn. They're going to help people say, oh, you need Jesus. You want to know how much of a deception that is? They don't have him. Because then they would show you, no, you need me to show you the Messiah. They're saying it wrong, completely wrong. If you know the real Messiah, you will show him to the people that you're talking to. Hey, let me show you the Messiah I know. Let me open him up and you will see his spirit manifest in front of you. Because he will be, you will be carrying him. You don't get it. Those people, when you will not, they will not have to go find him because you will be standing there. You need to go find Jesus. What are you talking about? And then people say, oh, I already found Jesus. If you already found Jesus, as they say, then you would know the people and what he is called by name. It's a scam. It is a lie by the heathen, to the heathen, by those who hate the heathen, by those who are making money and stealing from the tabernacle because the Most High does not need you to go learn who he is. He will show you who he is. 
It's all a lie. You don't have to go pray Allah, okay, uh, and all these things. You don't have to go to church and go, oh, Jesus, where are you? What are you talking about? Where is he is supposed to be in here? But that's fine. Y'all want to keep playing the game that the church has been playing on people for so long. Let me tell you the real truth. And this is a fact from these people who are controlling the system. If you know the creator, if you know the Messiah and you know the truth, they're going to bar you from walking in the church. That's a fact. The mason will be standing there. We cannot let you in this place. The eastern star will be standing there. Uh-oh. This is not good for us. The secret society member will be standing there as you're coming towards the church. This is not good for us. You will expose everybody in there. The whole, your, their spirits will open up. Ping! I see you. I know what demon you have. Let me show you how to cast it out. You will see every single spirit inside of these people. Because inside of the Mason is Lucifer. Inside of the Eastern Star is Lucifer. Inside of all of these people who took a false oath, you will see the Canaanite God standing there. You will see Thor with his hammer. No, you cannot enter this place. And you will tell him, move. And he will go. You did not tell me. I tell you. You will command him. You will see Odin get out of the way. Odin is gone. This is what you're not understanding. Anubis, what do you want to call him? Tatan Zombie does not answer to the dog god. The dog god answers to him. But what has happened is he only, he watches what we do. He's, he's looking at what, oh, look at, but now he's not watching anymore. Now he is doing because he took back the world from the hands of the wicked. That's why they're running for the hills now. Oh, you got to go, we got to go underground. Oh, you got all these imposters sitting in front of you with masks on. Oh, what happened to the woman? Now, all of a sudden, we got cancer. Oh, all of a sudden, uh, uh, we, 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 uh, we have all kind of something going wrong with us. No. There's nothing wrong with these people. Because they're not even people to begin with. That's the problem. No, they got, they got the... Why do you think all of a sudden now they're standing up there, we're going to start doing this, we're going to start doing that? <laughs> it's not a coincidence what happened in Nigeria. Okay? The whole earth is shaking that can sense the one who really created this creation is now on the way. That's why the earth is like, oh, yeah, here we go. Let's get this started. Because now they're going to get rid of all the nonsense. The Mwanda is ready to bring back the balance of all of the creation that the devil has made into a nightmare. If you had reckoned, if, if the Christian church had reconciled with the Father, the world cannot be in confusion. It's not possible. You are being lied to 
by the people who are the thief. The Muslims, the Muslim would have balance. Everybody, the, the Buddhists, okay? You cannot compete anymore with your religious. Oh, we need to all live and coexist. Let me tell you something. If the religions could coexist like they want to tell you, then there would be no imbalance right now. It's a scam. It's a lie. It's a deception by the imposter. All these religions are connected to the fallen ones. Every last one of them. All of these wars between gods that you keep hearing is a curse from the father himself. They must destroy themselves. That's why they always fight him. But now they have come to the point where the father says, I'm ready to embarrass you all. It's going to be an embarrassment because you did not reconcile. You do not have the connection. You do not know him. I have, I have had the repentance. The problem is the people who don't like it that I got the repentance that want to bring me back into the mud. But they're lying about it because what does it do? When you know the most high in spirit and in truth, you expose the people who don't. But then at the same time, Lucifer will then try to make the people who know the most high to turn on each other. That's always his game. Those of us who should know the most high, that's why all of the pagan stuff snuck into the awakening, even from the beginning, by the way, because the devil was ready for this. Never let them come out of Egypt that they don't even know that they're in the pit of Egypt. That's the problem. The world didn't even know they were in Egypt. The world didn't even know they were in Babylon. The world didn't even know that they were worshiping idols. Why? People don't understand Scientology is Satan. That's why you believe in all this, all oh, millions and billions of years, and, and, and okay. The Holy Spirit in spirit and in truth knows everything there is to know and will reveal it to you when you are what? Humble. You must be humble, not prideful. Humble. We must be humble. The creator does not fix anything. That's why the devil wants us to remain with the heart of pride. Because, oh, if the Banabe to remain with the heart of pride, he will not fix their land. What does it say? If my people who are called by my, who bear my name will humble themselves, okay, and seek my face, that's why they had to take away the identity, because if you don't even have the identity, you don't know how to seek his face. The Christians don't know how to seek his face because they don't have his name. The Muslims don't know how to seek his face because they don't have his name. Judaism for sure don't have his name. Okay? He has hidden himself from those, he has hidden, let me say it again, he has hidden himself from those who worship idols. Let me say it again. He has hidden himself from those who worship idols. You must stop worshiping idols. That's what Toko is saying. That's what Kimbangu was saying. You cannot be an idolater and seek the Most High's face. It's not possible. You must stop. Me too. Christians 
Well, that's why they go out and say they watch these TV shows. Oh, that's my show. Oh, that's my song. Oh, this and that. Because your heart has been conditioned into idolatry from the time you were a baby when they were giving you little toys. You really, where do you think they came up with that? The dolly. The teddy bear. You have been conditioned to idolize. Why do you think people say, oh, look at that nice car. Look at that nice house. Look at this. You have been conditioned for these things. And even the ones who think they're not an idolater, you're going to find out you're part of the Christian church. The Christian church are idol worshipers. That is what that is what Toko is saying. Those who have left the church are the ones who said they are breaking the first commandment. Okay, let me go back. I think it was Malachi chapter one. I wanted to read from actually. That's why he said this. He said, "Do we all?" Don't we all have the same father? If you're a pagan, you don't have the same father. If you are with Esau, you don't have the same father. If you are doing idol worship, we don't have the same father. Didn't one God create us all? You can only be connected to the same father. We only have one father when you are not worshiping a pagan God. Then why do we break the faith with each other, profaning the covenant of our ancestors? Yaounde has broken faith, and abomination has been committed, and Isolde, and, and see, for Yuda has profaned the sanctuary. Okay? Watch this. Of Tatanzami, which he loved by marrying the daughter of a foreign god. Who is that daughter of the foreign god? Those are the people who came in there saying, We are you. No, you're not. Yuda is the one who made the uh, Yuda is the one who made the choice to bring in the imposters, okay? By Yuda, we married the daughter of a foreign god. Guess what happened again in 1485? After the Mosai brought us together from the daughters of the foreign god, we said, we're going back. Catholicism is the daughter of a foreign god. It's a deception. They worship Lilith, the daughter of Lucifer. When she came out of the ground, she was acting like him already. That's why she rejected Adama. Okay? Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do it my way. Bye. Okay. You'll be with the idiot then that wanted, his, wanted to do it his way. That's why you hear that. Why do you think you're going to sing the Frank Sinatra song? I did it my way. Okay. That's the, that's the mindset of the European, the European, the European, the European, the European, concept of our creator is we're going to do it our way and they did it like that that's why you had all the punishments that were like cutting people hands off and ooh, you, or, or crushing bones or putting you on <laughs> some of the most well, they, they used to split you in half on that saw <sighs> think they didn't here is something else to cover. Uh, what did he say? I changed not you sons of Jacob are not consumed. I think it's Malachi 3. So 
See here. Because I, this is Malachi chapter 2. This is how you know the Christians cannot reconcile with the Father because they changed him. Watch this. Because I, now Adonai was not what we really used. That was more what they did, but we still had it. Because I and Fumu Yahweh, Congo, not Baal, do not change. Therefore, you sons of Yakuba will not be destroyed. Since the days of our forefathers, you have turned from my laws and have not kept them. Return to me and I will return to you. That's why the identity was taken. So that the most, the Lucifer knew this. If they know who they are, they will return to him. And then we have a problem. That's why this awakening is shaking the world now. Now that the Bantu people understand the Banabetu, that's why they didn't want to include the Bantus in the Hebrew Israelites. Because why did they do that? That's why they wanted to tell the Bantu, you are Hebrew Israelites. No, don't listen to these charlatans. The American Hebrew Israelites do not have the truth because they are taught by the people who hate the Most High. They were created by the CIA, and I'll just leave it at that. They were part of Rex 84. Of course they're going to deny it. Because of who 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 is in charge of the CIA? <laughs> Lucifer. Lucifer runs the NSA, the CIA. He was running the KGB. He was running MI6. All of these different. Uh, they they talking about ISIS again and what happened in Russia. ISIS is Lily. That's why the acronym is there. But you don't even know it's not who you think it is. I even talked to the Muslim woman. She said, they're not really, well, we won't go, they're not even us. We just leave it at that. She heard the language they were speaking. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. And since when? <laughs> Why would they, you know, I told people, I said, it's kind of funny. They saw Obama in the UK and next thing you have a terrorist attack. Hmm. We won't, we won't go down that rabbit hole. Because American, especially black people, you are so blind about Obama. There's a reason why he changed his name and we'll just leave it right there. He didn't go by the name he was given when he became the president. Why don't you know that? <clears throat> okay. His name was Barry. But because I, I do not change, you sons of Yakuba will not be destroyed. Since the days of your forefather, you have turned from my laws and not kept them. So then now why would the Christians be saying, Oh, we don't need to follow these laws anymore. Or no, we don't have to follow the we don't have to follow the feast days anymore. Oh no, the Messiah, he took care because the brood of vipers, the wolves in sheep's clothing, they told you that. When he even said, I did not came to abolish the law. <laughs> That's why you cannot reconcile because you're always lawless. But you ask, in what respect are we supposed to return? This is going to be more clearly. Yet you rob, can a person rob God? Yet you rob me. But you ask, how have we robbed you? Intense and voluntary contributions, a curse on you for the whole, on your whole nation because you robbed me. Okay. So now why is America going, having the problems that they're having? Because he cursed you. Why is Russia having um, 
the problems that they're having? Because he cursed you. Why is Europe having the problems that they're having? Because he cursed you. Why is um, Africa having problems that they're having? Because they curse you. Why is South America having these problems? Because he cursed you. Why? Why is China and everybody having curses on them? Because he knows and they know you are he, you are a thief. Russia is complicit in stealing from the God of creation if they keep going along with the narrative that was given to them by the Catholic Church because the Catholic Church is a thief. <laughs> okay? And the other and the other Eastern Orthodox churches. No pre you see all these priests standing up there in the Eastern Orthodox churches. None of these people represent the 12 tribes, not one of them. You cannot be standing there. Go read John 4, 22 carefully. Salvation comes to the people that are called the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So if you are standing there teaching the 12 tribes and you are not Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then you are a thief. And if the people who know that they know are Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are listening to the people who are not, then you are deceived. Your knowledge is garbage. You're not learning anything but how to be a donkey as they did in the mockery in the, in the wicked planet of the apes interpretation when he said in his line, because they're mocking him as an ape, you let them call you donkey when he said you are ape because that's what they call him. He said when you are moon to, when you are banabe to, is what it should have said. Okay? For your sakes, I will, it says right here, bring the whole tent into the storehouse so they will find, there will be food in my house. You cannot bring food into the house of any other nation, you cannot bring food into the house of the Jebusite, the Amorite, the Hivite, Havilah, all these other beliefs. How are you gonna bring food into the house of these people and there'll be food in his house? Like he said, Rome destroyed the, the storehouse. You're gonna bring you're going to say, I'm bringing the storehouse into Rome. What Rome is not in Canaan. It's not in Canaan. Where's the promised land? Oh, they came there. They took it. And they absconded it with it back to Italy. That's where it's at. If, if Rome represents the most high, then why is the headquarters in the land of the Gentiles? Why isn't it in the land of who? The promised. Oh, but there's Catholic Church there. There's... Because I told you, go look at the war between Kadesh closely. There was no Canaan when Egypt was there. Ramses was fighting the Hittite king and the and the 12 tribes were already gone during that war. So where did they go if he had that land occupied? Why do you think they don't want to teach you that history in the in the classroom? Oh, Ramses fought the Hittites. That's part of Egyptian history. Where is that at? Because when you're a thief, you're not going to tell you people how you stole it. Okay? The thief is not going to tell you how they became a robber and gave up his secrets. Okay? 
when a cop when when a cop when a cop goes to interrogate a thief and wants a confession, okay, are they going to immediately announce their guilt? If they they're going to think they can get away with it, no, they're going to say prove it, prove that I did it. Oh, we have this evidence. We have this evidence. Okay. This is what we're doing here. We're laying down the evidence that Lucifer the thief is not telling the truth about what he did to the Most High. Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, Hinduism, um, I forget all the names of it. All these religions are stealing. They're a thief. That's why the Pope invited all of them to come together and in Rome, because he said, "This is the most." I said, "This is the brood of vipers right here. They're robbing me and my whole nation." Okay, and he said, "Even my own, my own people are robbing me." The false messiah made you become hated, not loved. Like they keep preaching in these churches. You cannot reconcile with the creator if he's seeing you as a thief. How can you do that? In his eyes, if you are the thief, you're, there is no reconciliation. If you are bowing down to a pagan god, there is no reconciliation. If you are calling him by a name that he was never called by, there is no reconciliation. And if you don't even know who he made the covenant with, there is definitely no reconciliation. You're running up your credit card bills for nothing. You're, you're coming together with family and friends to celebrate the God of Atlantis. That's what's going to be happening on the 31st of March. The King and Queen of Atlantis is being honored on the 31st of March. If you don't want to believe me, okay, you're going to find out really soon. You are honoring the birth of Cain, the rebirth of Cain. Okay? Because you cannot, and he did not, change anything. He says it right there. I do not change. You're not taught to read the Bible. You're just taught to do what they tell you what to do. Christians are not talking to the God of Abana and Saka and Yaqubi, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No. So there is no reconciliation. You are under the spell of the genie who's shaming you because he's the one that taught you how to live right from wrong, pretending to be like it says, he masquerades. He knows the law, that's his commandments. But you're following it according to Lily, the witch, and Cain, the wizard of Oz, and in the, in all these people. You're following it according to the ways of the Anunnaki and the Watchers, and not according to the way of the, the, the Creator, the Most High. That's why now you're seeing all the problems of the, what it talks about in Romans 118. Because the creator said, when you worship the creation, I'm giving you over to the debauchery of, of Sodom and Gomorrah. You want to know where home, okay, so that's what I'm trying to tell you. He's cursing you with homosexuality. He's cursing you with, with, um, with, 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 let's go to Romans real quick and I'm done. You don't understand. This is where you're getting cursed with. 
the whole world is under the curse. When America is telling you, you need to start accepting these things, America is soft because the point is, <laughs> you're going to find out big time sinners in America. Huge. Romans 1, 18. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to strike the name of God. Then you will understand the zombie apocalypse and put the name, the 12 tribes called him. The 12 kingdoms. Okay. What is revealed is Tatan Zombie's anger from Zulu or the heavens against all the godliness and wickedness of people who are in their wickedness keep suppressing the truth. That's why you cannot reconcile because the rich people are always suppressing the truth and your rulers. If you knew the truth, you wouldn't go vote in November for none of them. You wouldn't vote for one of them. <laughs> if you knew the truth, you would run to Congress and want to, you do like, I, you're going to say, I'm insinuating another riot. No, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, you would go and kick these people out and vote them out of their positions. If you knew the truth about your rulers and your leaders, okay, you would be ashamed to call yourself anything in this time. There would be the shame. Because who is known about Tatanzambi is plain to them. Since Tatanzambi is made it plain, when he makes it plain, there is no confusion. You have understanding. You don't have any issue. It's obvious. It's there. You know what exactly what to do. So you're not talking to the right God. If you don't, if you got to go and say, I don't know what to do. I don't have a clue. What, what's, what do I do? You're not talking to the right God. Because it's made plain what he wants. For ever since the creation of the universe, his, 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 his invisible qualities, both his eternal power and his divine nature have been clearly seen. So you see the power because they can be understood for what he was made from what he was made. You have understanding. You, there, it, that's why he said, therefore, they have no excuse. Why do you think Christianity is having excuse after excuse? Oh, well, nobody's perfect. Oh, this and this and that. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have an excuse. Oh, well, I'm not God. Okay. Excuses are for people who don't know him. Oh, but the Muslims say, oh, the heavens are closed. And the heavens are closed to a hip to a hypocrite always. This is something that I am really needing to comprehend, okay? And the biggest issue is we suffered as a people for those of us who have gotten curses on ourselves because of those who were tricked into putting curses on their own family. They have no idea what they're cursing their families with, okay? Because all they, they knew who he is, they do not glorify him or thank him. So let's go. When Christians are saying, oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God, for all you are. You're not thanking the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Nope. You're thanking the God that hates him. Compliments of the secret societies because they gave you the religion. Compliments of the Jesuits. Compliments 
of the uh, the Muslims and everybody else. Okay, you are thanking Baal God. You are thanking Cain. Okay, you don't understand that Lucifer can give you things. And it make it look like the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's why everybody is all about their own narcissistic mentality. Because the creator is like, it's about nations, not just about individuals. Read it carefully. My nation was what I was about. Every last one of the people in it and their behavior. That's why you have what's called individual Christianity because they're only worried about, you cannot be, okay, like I said, the body of Christ, as they want to call it, cannot have denominations. It's garbage. And then they'll say, oh, but we're non-denominational. Uh, you're still the Church of Laodicea. So that's a lie. Because Rome is the church of Laodicea. And guess what? They don't even have the lampstand. None of these churches do. He gave the lampstands back. He took them back. I have them, and now you have to come this way to get them. That's what Toko is saying. The Messiah came to, get, to, to regather his lampstands because you were not teaching the truth. But they're going to still stand up there like, oh, God, they're not teaching the truth. They don't even have the, 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 the Malachi is not even there anymore. Okay. The angel is not even over these churches because the, he, the lampstands got given back to the one who is. That's why I said Toko's running the world from his grave. What you going to find out? <laughs> Toko's running the world from his grave through the Mwanda, through the Most High, and he's watching what people do. He's controlling a lot of things because he is connected to the to the um to the Gangan Zombie, and now in Fumuyusu is getting more involved, and that's why you're going to see these people keep popping up, talking about their Messiah, and they're not, and people who put them there, and they don't even know. We are. We Many people who believe what they told them had a hand in putting them there. Okay? Because although they knew they did not go or thank him, on the contrary, they became futile in their thinking and their undiscerning hearts undiscerning hearts, you're not discerning if you're talking to the wrong God, have become darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools. The false Messiah has made a fool out of this world. You're going to look like a, I'm telling you, when the time comes, you're going to look like a fool because you think you're wise. Okay? Everybody here thinks that they're wise. I even said people would tell me, well, okay, well, we, we know we can't do nothing about it, so we just, we just live. That right there is why the world is messed up. When you have the Father, when you have the truth, you can always do something about it. They pacified everybody for a reason. In fact, they have exchanged the glory of the immortal God for mere images. They know by what you see, okay, that will internalize what you think. It controls what you believe. That's why they did all those paintings and everything like that. Like a mortal of human being or like animals or reptiles. Like a mortal human being. Okay? That's why Masindisi said, 
If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Now, <laughs> this is why I told people, you've been lied to. If you have the shepherd that actually gives you power, you will see him, and then it will allow you to see the Father, and you will see the Father. Oh, no, nobody can see. Uh, if you're if you're holy in here, if you're holy in here, if you're whole, if you are doing the righteous path in here, people will see Tatanza. People will see the Creator. You have been deceived. I'm telling you. <laughs> you will see the Most High if people are holy in here, because this is where He goes. This is why in Fumu that the Yahweh has given them up to the vileness of their hearts, lust to do the shameful misuse of each other's bodies. Yep, seeing this, and this is what we're. This is why they want us to keep being involved. They have exchanged the truth of the Most High for the falsehood by worshiping and serving created things rather than the Creator. Praise be Him forever. That's why we say Kemba Kemba to the zombie in get them. That's why King Congo to the zombie has given them up to degrading passions so that their women exchange natural sex relations for unnatural. So King Congo is the reason why you got lesbians. He said he's not evil, but he said, look, if you're going to be like Lucifer, then you're going to behave like Lucifer. Lucifer is into all these type of things. Okay? And likewise, the men doing the same thing. So he said, Lucifer's into sodomy. There you go. You're going to have sodomy. Okay? You're going to be have men and men, women and women. Okay? Because the Christian church is worshiping the creation, not the creator. They've been lied to. The God that they're praying to is not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's a lie. Because you cannot mix his way with Canaanite or Cain's way, which is what it is. Like I said, it's not white supremacy. It's Cain supremacy. Because all people who disobey the Most High are acting like Cain. That's why it's a struggle in Babylon, because we're taught to act like Cain. Because that's the people running the world. Okay, Cain is running everybody and deceiving everybody because he wants revenge for what happened to the Most High and all the, the, the demons that are with him. In other words, since they have not considered Tatanzami worth knowing, see, once you're a Christian, it's like, oh, I know God, I'm good. Once you're a Muslim, oh, no, I know, okay? You're not going to go find the person, the God of creation, if you didn't know that you didn't find it. Now, do you want to know why your communities are in the position that they are? Because they never taught you to know the real creator. It's a lie. Rome did not teach you. Judaism did not teach you. Islam did not teach you. None of the, for sure, Buddha did not teach you. None of these things taught you to know the creator. It's a deception. We. This is why... When the Mosai come, the Bantu, the Bantu people, the Bantu Banuela, we are going to be the ones that are going to get, get hit hard because we knew him and we let the mermaid take us out of there. We let the we let the um we let the uh the, the king and queen of Atlantis take us away and the and the gods of Mount Hermon and all the other false gods bring us away from what we already knew. That's what happened in the days of Noah. Same thing. <laughs> they got brought away from the God they already knew. That's why Christianity can't possibly know him because they are the part where people got brought away from the creator. They worshiping the gods of Cain and not the God of Abele. <sighs> All right.
In other words, since they have not considered no that the zombie has given. So what he's saying of I'm giving them up is he means that I'm turning you over to Lucifer. I'm turning you over the kingdom of darkness. That's what he means when he says I'm giving them up. So it's like this. You don't want to know me? Then I'm turning you over to the imposter. Goodbye. I don't know you. That's what he did to us 500 years ago. Uh-uh. You don't want to know. You don't want to do me? I'm turning you. And I said that. You still have people over there in the land today that think that, that, that the Most High has said we're good. No. They're all in sorcery if they don't know the right way. If they are going to continue to deny the real truth and not and not follow the, the high priest came to teach us, okay? Like Kuso Kongo said, like Paul said, if I have all this knowledge and I don't have the right heart, then I have nothing. If you don't have the right heart, then there's nothing to the most. Like I said, that's why Fumisa said, like, hey, if you don't have the right heart, you can assume all you want. Okay? If you don't have the right heart, it doesn't matter. Okay? That's why people can be made to be look ignorant. Okay? And then there are those who have the right heart, but the wrong instructions. That's what's jacking you up. <laughs> okay? That's why he turned the world over to, the, to Lucifer who didn't want to know him. And he says, they are filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, greed, and vice, stuff with jealousy, murder, quarreling, dishonesty, ill will. They are gossips, slanderers, haters of the Most High. So Christianity don't love the creator. Christianity don't love the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. They hate him. Islam don't love the God of creation. They hate him. Judaism, for sure. Buddhists, they hate him. Hindus, um, what's the other religion? I forget. All this other, uh, they hate him. Because, see, that's what the deceiver did. Yeah, you can love and show, oh, we love and love. Even the Messiah said, even the Gentiles can love each other. But they, they, when they were worshiping Zeus, they still hated the Most High. That's why the debauchery kept happening. This is why people have all the murder, the quarreling. I said, I told you, they are meant, the, 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 the job of the secret societies is to do all these things that he's given you over to. So they create the chaos. But then they're going to be like the Sanhedrin and be the hypocrite judge. If you're going to charge somebody with murder, you need to charge your own self with murder. I know what you did. Okay? That's the issue. The people who run the world are doing the opposite. They know well enough that the zombies decree. Okay? This is why, why do your children disobey you? What's this? They plan evil schemes. They, 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 they are insolent, arrogant, boastful. They plan, they disobey their parents. They are blame, brainless. They are brainless. This is why they, they, put the, they shut down your pineal gland. Faithful, faithless, heartless. So like the people keep saying, Oh, grace by uh, we say by grace through faith. Not if you're create worse, not if you're worshiping the wrong God. Your faith is in the wizard. They know well enough that the zombies write that people who do no such thing deserve to die. Okay, that's why now you're having hurricanes, you're having tornadoes, you've been having this now for over 500, a lot of years, earthquakes, uh, volcano eruption, people 
get it out here. You say, oh, who, why did this person die? I thought they were a good person. Why do good, these people seem saying, oh, these good people, why are they dying? No. If you are not in repentance and reconciliation and in the truth of the creator, okay, if you are talking to the creation and not the creator, there is no eternal life. You are dying. This is why people's lives are being shortened. This is why you're having all the issues that you're having. Okay? You're praying to Jesus. You're praying to God. And that is Apollo and Jupiter. Oh, no, it's not. I know it's not. Yes, it is. Because if it was not them, then none of these things you would be having problems with like you're having today. Your children would not have to come and tell you, mom and dad, I'm gay. You wouldn't have to worry about the people out in the street wanting to shoot your child or whatever. The one that would give you the, the Holy Spirit would give you understanding of things coming at you. The jealousy and all the quarreling would not be there. If you are, I, mean, I know my parents talked about setting the example. They set the example as a Christian. The problem is the Christian example is flawed. That's the issue. That's a lie. They set the example as a Muslim. The Muslim example is flawed. I'm setting the example in Judaism. Judaism is flawed. I'm setting the example as a Buddhist. The Buddhist is flawed as a scientist. Science is wrong. Okay? You cannot set the example how to live from when you're learning it from the brood of vipers, when you're learning it from the wolf in sheep's clothing, when you're learning it from the hypocrites. You have to be connected to the one who was not a hypocrite. And then you will know things that other people will wish they knew or not understanding. You think the Anunnaki don't know our way? You fool yourself. They've been watching it for I don't know how long. Okay? So they know how to mask it. You think the watchers don't know the way of the Most High? You fool yourself. He's saying it right here. They know it. Okay? But guess who else knows it? Who knows the Most High way better than anybody is the one who never went astray. So, of course, like Toko was saying, he's going to come and rescue you if you want to be rescued. If you don't even know that you're in a pit, he ain't coming nowhere. That's why these people that think that they got saved from something, it's because they, they, you beg, you beg, and you beg the wizard, and he lifted the curse that, he, that was already there. But then you went under more curse. When you bargain with Lucifer, he going to take one curse for another. <laughs> you don't understand. Hope you get it. All right. That's why we have been warned, even in this awakening. You better see the spirit that that person is using to heal with. You better see the spirit that that person is using 
to cast to, to act like he's casting out demons. You better see the spirit the person is with. Okay? Even myself, I'm struggling. The why I'm struggling so much, okay, is because of all the liars that we're not being honest in all aspects of the society. I listen to the Mason. The Mason is a liar. But the most I said, now I'm crying, hey, I want to get away from anything these secret societies are trying to influence us with and show me who they are. They're hiding behind the screen. He did that. But then when you see them, they see you and they're lying about what they're doing behind back closed doors. That's why I told my, 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 my family members, you cannot go blind. You cannot go and say, okay, like how the Christian thinks, oh, I beat the devil. We're good. No, you beat him one time. He coming back for, he's going to reload like the people with the guns. All right, you got me one time. I'm coming back. I'm reloading. How can we? How can we do it this time? You don't understand. The devil never left the Messiah alone. He kept harassing him, asking him, "What authority? Whose authority? Who? What? What? This is how it goes." even with the people who run the world. Who are you? Who said you can do this? Blah, blah, blah. And at the same time, they're going to stick their foot out to keep tripping you when they know that they can try to get to you. Okay? All right. I'm going to end there and put on the song. Uh, let's see. That's what I did. Let's go here. And, uh, let me pull up. I don't know what this stuff is doing. All this stuff they put on here anymore. I, YouTube is ridiculous. I don't own the rights to this song. But anything that's been done is for not for redistribution of any kind but only for the edification of this channel. This is the face of the guy that I'm talking about, right here. But the problem is he didn't just want to keep talking about him. He needed everybody to act like him. Like I said, the sorcerer is about one guy, even Masindisi, the one he came to represent, he is not the one that died 2,000 years ago, okay? He was working for him. Telling you. You want repentance? You better be crying out the Tatanzambi and Pumatlendo, Akonko Yave, in spirit and in truth. The world does not know him. They're, they're calling on Jupiter all the time. Talking about Jupiter and the son of Jupiter, that's not our God and not our Messiah. And then there are those who deny the Messiah himself that, are, that say they're bound to, and they're not talking to them. They're not on the right temple. 
They're in the temple of Moab, but not the spiritual temple of Tuck and Zombie. You're going to find that out. Just because they say they follow and see Montoko doesn't mean that they are. Just because they say they follow in Kimbangu doesn't mean that they are. You cannot receive the Messiah doing any uh, uh, receiving of any secret society oaths. No, it's not possible. And they created the fraternities and sororities too. <laughs> Anything that has to do with Greco Roman anything, you are not talking to the Mosai. They mixed it, and that spirit is Jupiter, 100%, all over the world. And they're calling him just a planet, yeah, whatever. He's, they, that's why they don't show you the real, that those pictures that they keep making, they come from CGI. And somebody made it up a long time ago. That's why I don't trust NASA because they work for Lucifer. <laughs> NASA worked for Lucifer 100%. They work for Jupiter, the god of the Romans. That's why everything is about Greek gods with them and Roman gods. Why do you think that? Wanda is telling me to sing a song in that piece. When you sing this song, it's about the covenant, Weeza, Weezy. Weeza kusambo yimbi la wa, kari kese tunankau. Kim Berlin Zombie Yanda Wow Weezo Kusambu Weezo Kimbu Wat to Yimbila Kunga Meto Yim Miato Danga Zombie U to Zole Weezo Kusambu Sambu, that's where the word, the, the word Sambu comes from. Zambi Hutu Vangidi. Oh, that's 
experience. Priest. We a camp of a to him bila Kunga meto mi atodanga Zambi utu zolele Wizo kusambu wa Yisu wa yisa ovanza See that savior, the one who saves? That's how you say that. And candy zingi, Holy Spirit, asunganga, edi kakana, the food of life, over to far over death, kisi tu manga, wiza kenda wak tu imbila, ku tu mame, kunga meto. Mia todanga kunga is where you get Congo and kunga. Zambi utu zolele, we zoku sambuwa. See, we, we know this songs. We knew the truth. Okay? Edi kakana, ukanda, over to fwa, to fwa death. Okay, kisi tu mananga, the spirit, the power. Okay, we must understand, people. It's going to be a hard road over the next few years for those of us who get through it, because some of us may have already passed on today, and be hoping to get in. Because, like I told people. Many Christians have passed and died. Like I said, when you're coming back, oh, they got a nice story to tell because the devil knows the devil knows your demise, how long you're going to be gone, and when you're coming back. So he always can get you into a trick. Okay? Why do you think they want to shut down these people that say, hey, we don't, we need to repent? We didn't. We don't have it right. Oh, I came back and I, man, I didn't. You know, I got a revelation. We not. We better get it right. We better turn to God. But see, the point is, the God that need to return to is not the one that Jupiter is masquerading as. I mean, uh, sorry, let me say that wrong. We need to return to the God that Jupiter is masquerading as, not to Jupiter pretending. Okay, that's the problem. Jupiter is masquerading as a zombie and pungu and fumoyave congo. You don't want to believe me? That's on you. But the concept is they never taught you to follow the first commandment. If you did, if you did. Let me say it again. If you did, they fall. If the world was following commandment number one in spirit and in truth, all of this wickedness above you and above your head and these wealthy elites would have crashed already. Because for one, you would have put the Jacob in his place a long time ago. All the other nations would have put Yakubi in his place a long time ago if you were not breaking number one. The Christians would know that they were talking to the God of Esau and not to the God of Jacob if you were not breaking commandment number one in spirit and in truth. That's why this man here was a threat to them. Because for one, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob does not look like Zeus and Jupiter, how they drew him from the Catholics. 
why do you think now when Putin's sitting out there bringing out all this stuff, the people are like, what? But then you got to be careful because Nimrod was black. So was Tammuz. So was Cain. No, Cain wasn't. Oh, yeah, he was. Seth was. That's why. Why do you think Lucifer told the white people that they are Seth? If this was true, if this was true, okay, then they would also be connected to the God of Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob, and spreading the truth. And this whole world would be totally different than what it is today. It would be. They would know how to do the right things. Always. What did Judah do? Read what I said. Why did Judah make the Most High angry? We accepted the daughter of a foreign god. Who was the daughter of this foreign god? Esau. Esau's world became ours. And we had no business in doing that. The foreign god has to be Esau because it's two kingdoms. The world is deceived. Esau's kingdom is Cain and the Anunnaki, and the false gods. And he was more black than white. They're going to keep, keep, keep lying about that. Okay? Ingeta, Samulolo, Zolakwingi, Inawezi, Yave, Kongo, Kutwala. Like I said, the spiritual world is now starting to try to reclaim what we're doing here. They don't like it. They're coming down. They're fighting. Why do you think we're being shadow banned? Why do you think I go on Twitter, the post gets rejected right away? Oh, no, you can't put that. I go on Facebook. Okay. Oh, we're going to uh, check this. The fallen ones know. The Mwanda is starting to expose their deception. You were confessing, every religion is confessing their, every man-made religion is confessing their sins to Amun-Ra, to Saturn, not to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You were not taught to know him. So there is no reconciliation with a God they never taught you to know. They're pretending like you know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because they don't even know him. None of them do. If your leaders knew him, the world is at peace already. Even in what they call the Holy Land, it's at peace. They don't know him. None of these religions do. Or there would be peace. And not chaos. That's why Kusul Kongo said there's no peace for those who don't know him. And that was including ourselves. When the 12 tribes rejected the, the truth, we became chaos ourselves. We suffered. We went through all of this stuff for the last 500 plus years over an argument that didn't even need to happen because those who were arguing did not know the Most High, but pretended like they did. And now they want to blame it on Christianity. They would have never showed up. They would have never been able to do what they did to us. Nobody would have touched it. Not Islam, not Judaism, no other religion 
would have been able to impact our nation if we were not in disobedience already. Okay? Zola Quingi, Nsambulolo, in our ways of Yahweh Kongu Kutwala, Ingita.